Can you guess what holiday it is? It's pretty obvious. Fourth of July. And we are here at the Wish Farms Berry Kitchen and we have the perfect sweet treat for you to make. It's perfect for entertaining. It's a perfect sweet treat for you to impress your friends and even the kids. Best part is there's only five ingredients. So they're gonna think that you spent all day working on this, but it's an ice box cake. Assemble, pop it in the freezer, and we're good to go. So we're gonna start with two tubs of non-fat whipped topping. We also have Wish Farm strawberries and blueberries, quarter cup of white chocolate morsels, and your ordinary graham crackers. So let's begin layering. Make sure you pull it out of the freezer in time to let it soften. And we're gonna do a big scoop at the bottom. And with a spatula here, we're just gonna smooth it out. We are gonna take our graham crackers, layer across, does not have to be perfect. But the cool thing about this dish is that with so many layers, once you cut into it, it's gonna look like an ice cream cake. First layer of graham crackers are down. So we're gonna do one more layer of our whipped topping. So now for our first layer of berries. Just grab a few and we're gonna sprinkle it all around. Blueberries first. The more the merrier, right? Now with the strawberries, I just did a rough, um, rough chop. So however you wanna dice them up in bite-sized pieces is perfect. All right, let's layer again with some whipped cream. All right, so on to round two, putting our graham cracker crust on here. And the thing about using graham crackers with this dish is that when you put it in the freezer, it does get really soft, which you would think isn't something you'd want in a dish, but it's actually perfect because it gives it that cake feel and texture. All right, next layer of our whipped topping. We're almost there. Trust me, it'll be worth it. Just a few simple ingredients. And no matter what it looks like, it's gonna taste great. Wanna make sure every bite has some berry in there. Don't be afraid to press down gently on the graham cracker. That way we make sure everything fits. If there's a break or a crack in the cracker, not a big deal. All right, last layer of the whipped topping is a little more important. We wanna make it nice and smooth because the best part is we're gonna use the strawberries and blueberries to make an American flag. You wanna get every last drop. For the flag, we do want the berries to have a certain shape. So cut the stem off and then put it face down and then you're just gonna cut slices from there. That way the pieces are uniform. So we're gonna get started and we're gonna take blueberries that have already been washed to make sure they're dry. Start on the outside and start to make our American flag stars. All right, now with our blueberries in place, it's time for our flag stripes. So we're gonna take the point and point it outside and be sure to layer one on top of the other. That way there's no white space. Look how perfect our flag looks. The last step, there is more white chocolate chips. We're gonna melt up on the stove or you can also do it in the microwave and then just a little drizzle in between the strawberries. It'll be a perfect touch. We're gonna drizzle it right in between the rows of strawberries for a little extra added sweetness. This of course is optional. You could put bananas in between. So as you celebrate your 4th of July and this Independence Day, we hope that you consider trying this blueberry icebox cake. It's perfect for your family and friends. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your love of berries.